Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I also got some friend mail today. I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, I did open it already, but um, I want to show you guys because I'm real excited about it. But um, I'm going to do some haul and then I'm going to show you guys my friend mail and then I'll finish up the haul. Okay, um, I wanted to show you guys. I went to the uh, Latham Dollar Tree and uh, I picked up a bunch of Easter stuff. I really scored up there and uh, got some more Easter signs. I picked up this one. Every bunny welcome. How cute. It's a little egg and it's got the uh, like shiplap background and it's hanging by a jute cord. And it's, you know, the pressed wood. Picked that up. A little closer. I found the truck ones. Uh oh, this one came undone. Okay, they're just like a the string on it is like the um, the bag things. Okay, you know the bag ties. All right, there we go. I picked up the blue one that says Happy Easter. It's got the carrots in the back with the bunny's butt and his little tail. It is a cotton ball. So cute. I picked that up. I like the pink one better. I got the pink one. And this one's full of eggs. With the bunny butt. With the little thing. Tail. Cotton ball. And this one says Happy Easter at well, as well. I love the uh, <clears throat> look of these trucks. The pink, the blue, the red truck. I just, I think it's so cute. So I grabbed that one. I got this one that says, follow the bunny. He has chocolate. So cute. And it's got the puffy little tail on the back. And the jute cord, of course. I picked up so many. I already have a ton of Easter stuff, but it's just too cute. I grabbed this little felt job. Any cute little bunny holding a carrot and it's got purple eggs going around. This is made out of felt. And he's got glitter on his ears. And then it has a little ribbon to hang it. Thought that was super cute. And then I also got the green one with the boy bunny in the little Easter basket with the eggs. It's got the green all around it. I thought they were super cute. And then I got the Happy Easter signs. These are really big, so I have to kind of sit sideways here. Has the juke cord to hang it. And then it's got the little raffia bow and his little footprints on the bottom here. I got this one. And then I got this one. Wow, these are really hard to show because they're so big. This one has what looks like to be galvanized ears, but it's just the painted on like that. These are really hard to show because they really are big. Bigger than a lot of the long signs that Dollar Tree has. But I grabbed those. I'll show them both to you again so you can see the difference. Really cute, cutesy cute. And then I picked up some window clings, again with the truck on it. So cute, it's got the little bunny in the back and then it's got the little bunny down there and this is all sparkly. I like to put these on my breezeway windows. Thought that was really cute and if you can see the, um, the truck has glitter on it, it says Happy Easter. So I got that and then the only other Easter thing I got was I picked up a four pack of coconut eggs by Russell Stover can't beat that name brand for a buck so I will eat those before Easter for sure maybe a little later um, also in that section which was near the um, gardening section I found these two beautiful steaks Aren't they gorgeous? Don't you love them? They're metal. And they got, these are hard to show too with the table here. 
Um, they are steaks, as you can see. And I just love the face. Let me show you it up close. And it's got like, um, like a brass look. Just really love them. I'm going to put those in my backyard this summer. So I got those. They had a bunch of other different kinds of lawn steaks, but those were my favorite. Picked up some more blind bags. I found these Jurassic World ones. I'm going to give those to Jordan. Got two of them for him. And then I got him two of the Transformer wall walkers. You throw them up against the wall and they supposedly walk down the wall. It comes with, you know, any of those eight different ones. Does the Jurassic have anything on the back? No, it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you what's in it. So hopefully he'll like those. I did pick up some My Little Pony blind boxes. It says best gift ever on it. Um, I don't know what's inside. I haven't seen anybody open these, but I grabbed four of them. They were new to me, so I just snapped those up for the girls. And then on one of the end caps, I found the Monster High blind bags, blind whatever they are, thingamajiggies, upside down. There were two fronts. These two are black, and these two are purple. They all say season one on them, not season, but whatever, um, series one on them. I don't know why some are purple and some are black and they have different color cases. These are pink and these are orange. So I grabbed two of each. I get so excited with the little blind bags. They're so much fun. I love opening them. Picked up another um, fart machine. <laughs> Kids love that stuff, you know. So I gave one to Jordan. And uh, I sent, I'm sending one to a friend, and I just had to have one here for the kids to play with. <clears throat> Let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, I found some more of the pearls, the crafting pearls. I found these, the 10 millimeter ones. You get 80 of these for crafting. These are the 12 millimeter ones, and you get 60 of these. Really excited to find these. And these are the 14 milliliter ones. You get 40 of these. I don't know if you can see the different sizes. I mean, it says right on it the sizes are bigger. But yeah, so I grabbed one of each. I haven't used the other ones yet, but I plan to. So we'll do that. I found a couple magnets. I found this one. Just a cute little, um, yeah, turtle that says relax, slow down. Thought he was super cute. And then I found this um, giraffe, funky looking giraffe. It says be unique. I hadn't seen those before in any of my stores, so I grabbed those. I was able to find the um, little animal planters. I found the uh, turtle. If you haven't seen these before, I'll take them out of the box and show you them because they are so cute. Look at him with his little face. And you don't have to use it for a planter. You can use it for whatever you want. You can put paper clips in there on your desk or rubber bands or hair ties, anything you want. But I got all four of them. I found the turtle. I found the unicorn. Nope, he's not a unicorn. He's a llama, I think. I don't know though. I think that has been the discussion, whether that's a llama or a unicorn. Because he does have a little thing at the top of his head. See, that almost looks like a, a horn, but there he is with his little smile. So stinking cute. Or she, her name is Uma. And the turtle's name is Tilly. So I grabbed those two. I was so excited to find these, but 
Let me tell you something. If you find these, you got to open up the box. They're taped closed, but open them up and check them out because a lot of them had like little flaws in them. So I really had to go through almost all of them to find a good one. I found uh, Flora the Hedgehog. No, Flora the Fox. Sorry. Not knowing my animals today. Any cute she. Got that one. I just got out of work, so I'm a little out of it today. This is Hudson the Hedgehog. Hudson the Hedgehog. And look at him. Cutie patootie with the light purple and the yellow. Very cute. So I was excited to find those. They were on my wish list. I saw everybody hauling them. And then in that same store, this was all in the new Latham store, I found the, um, what are they calling these? Wreath charms. I found Choose Happy. And they come with a little thingamadoobie here to hang it on the wreath. Be careful when you buy these because a lot of these things, as you can see, the tape is falling off and they're, these are all laying in the bottom of the box. So make sure you get yours when you, if you, if and when you buy these. I got the one that says, choose happy, so pretty. I got the flowers and the little planter. These are such nice spring colors. They're going to make great accents to wreaths. I got... The one that says hope, really pretty, and spring. So I was really excited to find these. Um, like I said, I saw people haul these, and I was like, wow, I never saw those. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I was very excited to find them. They did have a bunch of them. I don't know if they still do. This was about a week ago that I got those. Uh, I picked up another thing from my fairy garden. I just thought this uh, little water pump was so cute with the little bird in the bucket. So that's going in my fairy garden too. Very cute. Take the tag off it. Get off there. See, there's the back. And isn't that adorable? I had to have it. They only had one and I said, I need that for my fairy garden. Picked up Caroline some Minnie Mouse socks. They look kind of small. I hope they still fit her. She, I don't know. I think they'll fit her. It says five to six and a half, and I think she wears a six and a half. Might be, I don't know. And if they don't fit her, I'll give them Davlin. So I got the Minnie Mouse ones, and I got her the Sky from Paw Patrol socks. These also say five to six and a half. Well, we'll see. But even if she wears them for a little while, she's going to like them. Picked up a couple of pairs of socks for myself. I grabbed these. These are fit shoe size 10 to 13. I wear a size 10. So I grabbed these. These are awesome. They got the, uh, like, uh, padded foot part really cute and then I got them in blue they had a couple other different colors but I really don't need any more socks but I thought I'd try them out and see if I really liked them and if I do then I'll go get more um, what's it say comfortable fit for all universal stretch comfort quick drying polyester so we'll see and then I had to get these Look at these little cow socks with the little ears on them. <coughs> they're probably made for kids, but I got them because I think they're cute. They do say women's. They say women's five to nine. So I got those. They had a bunch of other different animals, but I just picked up the cow. I got more socks that I know what to do with. A couple of food items I picked up. Uh... Three of these Jack's Lynx teriyaki um, jerkies. I love these. 
I gave one to my son a little while ago, so now I only have two left. But I like the teriyaki flavor. These are great for a buck. And then I picked up two cans of the Hanover Black Beans. These are 19 ounce cans. They're really big. They're not the little dinky cans that they sell sometimes. So I grabbed two cans of the black beans and one can of the pinto beans. They had a bunch of different flavor beans, um, but I only picked up these three because I'm not a huge bean fan. I mean, I'll, I'll eat them all right, but I don't usually make things with beans in them. Um, anyway, they're a great deal, so get them for a dollar. I want to show you guys my friend mail. It came while I was at work. My ring doorbell went off. And it was, let me cover up Deb's address here. It came in this big bag, right? In this big brown bag. Um, Debbie from uh, Massachusetts uh, emailed me, one of my subscribers, and said that she found the uh, baskets for me. And I was so excited. I was like, how is she going to ship those to me? Well, she managed to find a way. She got me... She got me the blue basket. I'm so excited. I have not seen these anywhere yet. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, my God. And she sent me the turquoise basket. I, I am so grateful, Deb. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I have not seen these anywhere, and I... I've seen everybody hauling them, and I haven't seen them, and I so appreciate you sending these to me. See? My two favorite colors of the baskets. And she also sent a package of stuff for little Caroline. She sent some princess tissues and some color shapes, uh, cards, and a couple of things of color forms. She's going to be so excited. I'll have her look at them on on, uh, on video. Um, she's not here right now, but um, the next time she comes over, I will have her show you guys what Deb sent her. So thanks so much, Deb. I really appreciate it. If there's anything that I have hauled that you're looking for that I can return the favor, please let me know. Thank you so, so much. I, I just get a kick out of getting friend mail. It's so exciting. I couldn't wait to get home. All right, let's move on. I did find two of the new Rubbermaid take-along bowls. These are black with the white top. And it says meal prep containers. One bowl is five cups. It says designed for salads, soups, and sides. But you could put anything in this. You know, I mean, it's not just for salads. I don't know why they say that, but there's the container and there's the top. It's got the little lip on there. And uh, seals up nice and tight. So I grabbed two of those. I have to go through my Tupperware. I have so many things up there and they're not matched up with the tops. And that's going to be a day long organization. So again, I got two of these these over here and then um, I told you guys how um, Thrifty Divas Theoni uh, mentioned that those uh, teacher tree containers hold the uh, rectangular shape little containers they fit 12 of them in each one so I, I finally found these Not, none of my stores that I've been in recently have had them went up to Latham and I grabbed three of them and even if you don't use them in those containers if you never got your hands on those these are great little containers you can keep your glitter in there you can keep pins in there you can keep anything you want in there they'd be great even for um like if you're traveling overnight somewhere and you want to just put your pills in there you get 10 of them for a dollar so i picked up three of those very excited about that <clears throat> I saw Anna from Only in My Dreams haul this hat, and I just thought it was so cute. You can't really see the, you can't see the ribbon on it, but it's got this little leopard ribbon on it. 
and I just thought it would be really cute to wear in the summer when the sun's out, hide my face from the sun. Very cute, got that for a buck. Caroline goes, Grandma, there's your hat. I said, yes. She ha I had a hat last year with little pom-poms on it and she ripped them off. Because that's what little kids do. I found two of these kitchen towels. These are good kitchen towels. They're cotton, made of cotton. Let's see, does it say cotton on it? Yes, 100% cotton. And they say, good days start with coffee. So these are nice towels by the Home Collection. And I picked up two of these. As I said, I don't drink coffee, but I think they would make a nice little gift with a couple of coffee mugs and you know, whatever, some coffee. I just thought they were cute for somebody who does drink coffee. So I grabbed those. I picked up two boxes of the um, tissues. These are not Scotty's. They are, I guess, Dollar General, not Dollar General, Dollar Tree brand, Greenbrier. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you get 175 tissues in there. So I said, you know what? For the extra amount of tissues you get, sometimes it doesn't matter whether the tissues are soft or not. You're just using them for whatever reason. So I picked up two boxes of these. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I think you guys... Oh, no, there's one more thing. I lay this stuff flat on the table and then I forget I got it. I picked up this really pretty placemat. I'm not going to use it as a placemat for eating on, but um, I keep a placemat in the center of my table with some little decor in the middle, and I thought this would be nice because my kitchen is red, and it's got some, you know, some accents of blue and yellow and whatever. And then I also picked up this one just because I thought it was super pretty. Love the hummingbirds on it, and I will find another place to put this out on. So, and they are like silk on the back. They're really pretty. They have the matching towels and whatnot with all that. Um, I think I showed you guys in my last video um, the matching. I think it might have, the one that says you you smile, you make me smile. That matches either this or this one. I don't remember which one. But maybe I could even put that with that gift as well. But... Anyway, guys, I'm so excited with my totes. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, Debbie. I really appreciate them. I'm sorry if I'm calling you Debbie and your name is Deborah. You like to be called Deborah. Um, I'm not sure, but um, you did put Deborah on the package. I know, like, my name is Kathleen, but I like to be called Kathy. In any case, so happy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful for you sending these to me. I'm so excited about it. And as I said, if there's anything you're looking for, let me know and I'll be glad to send it to you um, if I've seen it already. Anyway, guys, that's my haul. I have um, a couple other hauls coming up. Please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, um, hi there. Welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the bell to advise you when I upload. And to all my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for staying with me. I have hit a thousand subscribers. I'm really excited about that. And I have to get a giveaway together for all my loyal subscribers and friends out there. Those who are new and just making me feel so special. Thank you, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.